the blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Father said, if you're dealing with the spirit of fear, lift up your hand. Everybody you know it reaches. No, you got fear. To the fear of what's going to happen in your life. Fear of your condition. Fear for your children. Fear of this COVID. I want to lift that fear off of you. Because of my blood, says God. You can't have fear. Believe and have faith in what I am doing with you right now. It's something about faith that activates the spirit realm. The spirit realm can't comprehend this type of worship. So the spirit of light it will never, you'll never, it will never lose. Nunca perderá. It's power. I need some worship. I feel like somebody's supposed to get healed today. I need some worship. Father, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing right now. Come on, somebody believes. This here a communion service wouldn't just uh, take some elements. Somebody believe. Right now, we need to start having worship that will bring the presence of God in. And I don't care what disease, what plague, even your broken heart, God can heal you. God can heal you. God can heal you. God can heal you. So lift up your hands today by faith that God can heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy has come and have taken hope away from families and from individuals. The enemy has come to take hope away from churches. And it's something God wants. He wants you to walk by faith. He wants you to walk by faith. He wants you to walk by faith. Do you believe? Do Healing rain is in the place. Healing rain is in the place. I need some intercessors to start praying. We got to have the presence of God in the house of God. Or we come to this place in vain. Healing rain is in this place. Healing rain is in this place. Healing rain is in this place. The question is, do we believe? Do you believe? Oh, I see it on some of your faces. Healing rain is in this place. There needs some intercession to happen. It was like something that had come against us. Just keep going, Krishna. Healing rain is in this place. Some of you really believe. I don't know. I don't 
know what you believe him for. But I see the Spirit of God upon you. And whatever you believe him for, you trust him. You trust him. Because I am with you, says God. And I'm looking at your heart. And healing rain will come to your family, says God. Because I saw your heart. You were seeking me. You were seeking me. You were seeking me. You didn't come for nothing else. Healing rain. Healing rain. Healing rain. You got to believe. You got to believe. Healing rain is in this place. Healing rain is in this place. Do you believe? Do you believe? He will heal your family. He will heal you. Healing rain. Healing rain. Healing rain. I don't know what that means to you. But when you attach your heart to God, it means everything to God. Healing rain. Jesus. Teresa, God says, He heard you. He heard you. He heard you. He heard you, daughter. He said, don't even tell her to trust me. Because I already see her trust. She don't have to do anything for this answered prayer. Because I saw her heart. I saw your heart, daughter. I saw your heart. He heard you. He heard you talk to him. You talk to Jesus right now. We can have a regular service if you want. Or do we want the Holy Spirit? Falling. David and Alejandro, I need you right here. David and Alejandro, necesito aquí. Solo ora. Líderes de esta casa. Tenemos que entrar en un lugar con Dios. Kayla, will you stand over here, please? And I don't know your daughter's name, the one that's in the middle with the brown on. I need you over here. Yes, Worshippers in the intercessors in just begin to pray. Kanye, I want you to go into intercession. Carry, carry us.
So, Kaila, today as you were ministering, I saw an image. I saw the enemy coming after you. Because of the word that you spoke, I saw him coming at you like a flood. And as he was coming at you, I warned Pastor Dolores to tell you that you better be ready. Because as the enemy comes at you, you remember that word she spoke about fear? She said, there should be no fear in you. So I cannot have you fearing. Here's what's going to happen. The enemy is going to come after you. But because of the prayers of the saints, he's going to back away. He's going to begin to run. And he's going to realize this. That this time, he messed with the wrong child of God. This time he touched the wrong one. God says today, today my daughter, today, I'm giving you a mantle. I'm giving you a prophetic mantle because you've been obedient. You've been obedient in the house. You've been obedient. And you have sacrificed your desires. You had desires. And I kept them from you, says God. Because I wanted to test your heart. Would you serve me? Would you love me? This mantle does not come from a man. This mantle does not come from a woman. This mantle comes from the Holy Spirit. And I come to give you the mantle, says God. I release fear off of you. I release it off of you today. I release the spirit of abandonment off of you today. You felt abandoned. And you're not abandoned. You're my child. You're my child. You're my child. Now let it go. Can we begin to worship him? Healing rain, healing rain, Come on, begin to sing that song for your family. Begin to sing that song for yourself. Begin to sing yourself in a place that you never seen yourself before. Because you have stepped up and stepped out, says God. I am bringing you up to a level that when you walk with me, your prayers not only will be answered, but the heart of God will be known in men. I'm bringing you out, daughter. I'm bringing you out and others may see who you are in me. Come on, every head of household, begin to say, open up in heaven. Stop praying for your family. That the presence of God will begin to heal your children. Begin to heal your marriage. Begin to heal what God is wanting to do inside of you. Come on, can you begin to say that? I need you interceding, Mom. Just pray. I just need you to pray. Stand and pray. Right there. So 
you have said over and over again. Why don't I fit in? You've asked that question, daughter. And God is saying to you today, you were never designed to fit in. You were designed to come above. And this day, says God, I am lifting you up. I am answering your prayers. You are not to fit in because you've called to be bent to be different. The desire that you have, you've been crying out, and you've been saying, God, I need you to show me that you're real. Father, you want me to believe in you? You have to show me that you're real. So today, God wants to show you that he's real. He's getting ready to speak to you in your dreams. That prophetic mantle that God has for you, you've been struggling in your mind and you don't know why. God said, I'm getting ready to speak to you. So prepare your heart, daughter. Get ready. Because God's getting ready to speak to you. I've taken bitterness away. It was so bitter. I never asked you to be like your parents. I never put that on you, says God. All I wanted you to know was my love. And you've been looking for a love that you could not find with a man. You've been looking for a love and acceptance. That's the reason why you don't fit in. And the reason why is because of what I'm about to do with you. I don't know why. I saw children around you. I saw children of color. I saw compassion that heaven came out of you. It's there. It's like you got a gift. And this gift is for children. And God says, I, I want to open up a door for you. You say, but I'm not worthy. I, I, I'm not worthy, Lord. I, I, I'm not there, Lord. He said, I'm not waiting on you. I've already done what I said I'm going to do. I'm not looking at what you've done and what you haven't done. I just want you to see this love. I want you to know, no, no longer you ask why, why am I born or what's my purpose. I just want you to be you. I just want you to be you. But right now, I see these children pulling at you. I see young teenage girls that's confused. Looking for answers. He said, but what can I say? Share your heart. Share your testimony. Share it. I didn't ask you to preach. Just share. You lift up your hands, can everybody begin to say healing rain, healing rain, healing rain all over this place, healing rain, healing rain, healing rain. Shandell, where are you? Is she here? Come here. I want you to lay your hands on her. Just as you have ministered to little black children, to little African children. God has called you to touch the children. There you go. Now let her lift her hands, Miss Lisa. Put your, put your hands right there on her tongue. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. You're going to let go. Let it rain.
from heaven so David as I was sitting in the back I saw this vision of a mother having a child and she had twins and the first twin was blocking the passage not wanting to come out because of the fear of what the world had for him and as he was standing there the other one was pushing and I want you to know today saints I need the prayer warriors to begin to pray because there's getting ready to be a birthing in the house there's getting ready to be a birthing in the house as I saw this baby pressing Dave I recognized that it was you that baby that would not come forth I want you to know as the eldest son in your family your brothers and sisters are waiting on you they can't come out until you let them out you are blocking the passageway and God is telling you now that the time has come you are ready to be born son it's time for you to come forth and take your rightful place we have talked and played around about it but today is your day no more hiding behind the others you are born to lead take your rightful place Alejandra you've been wondering why is it happening to my sisters what is going on and God says I brought you two together that you may lead them to the place where they need to be set free but you weren't born just for them because I see behind you another group of people coming I see birthing in the spirit I see children coming after you just as you raised your children in the natural you are getting ready to raise children in the house of God you were called to lead others and too long you have sit by and watched but this day I say no more no more walking behind you will lead David, you will lead. Alejandro, you've been called to walk beside him. You will no longer hide behind the safe and say, I'm not ready. The fears of your past, of where your father and your mothers were, will no longer hold you back because I birthed you new in the spirit. You have a new lease on life and not only your physical brothers and sisters are waiting on you you have cousins you have others that are in this church that are here because of you now time David for you to raise to the new level it is time this word is for many of you there's a blockage it has been your fears it's been the iniquity of your families it's been generational curses can you lift up your hands right now and this is what he said to David he said listen to me I no longer call you Jonathan I call you David because you were called to rule as a king and I kept hearing him say it while Pastor Duncan was praying over you. Tell him this is going to break something off of his family. As the eldest son, there has been many blockage. He said, but I have given you like the keys to the kingdom I gave to David and I'm giving it to you today many of you God wants to give you keys to the kingdom but he said he said he said tell him to build me a church 
and after you build the first church you're going to see multiple churches going to rise up you build the first church and many other churches you say but where and what should I do he said I am going to prosper you and I'm going to give you more land and you're going to be on my church but Pastor Duncan he said I want you to lay your hands on him he said David I ordain you today as a pastor in this house I ordained you because I chose you I'm not waiting for a man to lay hands on you I'm not waiting for you to go to school see you run from it and because you ran I'm going to expose you I ordained you to pastor to strengthen you said but it's not in me it is in your bloodline and because it's in your bloodline don't be like Saul don't hide come out and let me raise you up not a man not a woman I'm going to raise you up by the Holy Spirit by the Holy Spirit by the Holy Spirit can you lift up your hands all over this place hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. father receive it now receive it in the name of Jesus we seal it over you now in Jesus name Anna, I need you here. As pastors doing that, something, something God said to David. Can you lift up your hands all over this place? So you'll see. He can't run because sometimes we don't feel worthy, we don't feel qualified. See, David, all of the other people. Uh, brothers, they look like they had it together. They got their license. They do this, they do that. But God said, I don't look at the outward of a man. I look at the inward of a man. And I just whispered in his ear, David, you can't run from me. This has nothing to do with you. No tiene nada que ver contigo. Es una herencia. It's an inheritance. Es una herencia. Some of you have inheritance. You won't grab hold to it. No Because you're looking at your past. You're looking at your hurt. You're looking at I'm not qualified. David wasn't looking for nothing. David no estaba buscando nada. He was just with those sheep. Solo estaba con las ovejas. Minding his own business. God called him out. God called him. God's going to call you out. Not a man. Not a woman. Your ordination don't come from a church. It comes from the kingdom. Henry, I need you and your wife right here to replace David and and Alejandra. They can be seated. You can be seated. Let me ask you and I want you to begin to pray for your family. Grab hold to your family's hands right now. See, we need the Spirit of the Lord. If you're visiting, this is how we operated. This is what really foundationally brought this church where it is today. It was the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord had His way. How many of you don't want a religious church? You want a church that's raised by the Spirit of God. You want Him to speak to you. 
quieres que él hable con And I believe many of you. Yo creo que muchos de ustedes. He's speaking to you right now. Está hablando en este momento. If you're listening. Si escuchas. Healing right now. Hallelujah. Lluvia de sanidad. And I saw. I saw. Yo miré. A light. Una luz. Coming over your home. Que venía sobre tu hogar. And I see God saying, Daughter, I hear your prayers. I see your sons and your husband. I have made a promise to you. And you have forgotten. But I want you to be reminded that I am with you. There is a spirit of intercession that is on you. It's a gift that God has placed inside of you. And he wants you to draw near him. Don't be moved by what's around you. Don't even trust what you see. Because where he's taking you to, you're going to walk it out by faith and when you walk it out by faith before you ever see it you're going to walk in it because God is calling you to another place daughter I want you to trust him I want you to trust him for everything for all the things that you have not seen yet I want you not to say it's not going to happen I want you to believe in your heart that God is a God that answers prayers and he's faithful he's faithful and he will do what he has promised Father, strengthen your daughter. Father, go deep into her heart. Where she has gone through much pain. Pray for her family. It is done, daughter. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. As I was up. Praying here. Como me estaba yo orando aquí. I just want to use an analogy. Solo quiero usar una analogía. I said, Dolores. Dijo, Dolores. I said, you know what's happened? Sabes qué está sucediendo. El the enemigo, enemy has muffled. El enemigo ha venido a silenciar. Has put a spiritual mask. Ha puesto una máscara espiritual. Over the voices of my children. Sobre las voces de mis hijos. Today. El día de hoy. I'm taking that spiritual mask off of my children de mis hijos, and they're going to begin to speak and declare again. A y otra vez. They're going to begin to declare and speak what I have spoken. Don't let that spiritual mask no que esa espiritual muffle you. Te, te silencie. Don't let this keep you from where God's taking you. No permitas que esto te, te detenga de lo, a, lo, a donde Dios te quiere llevar. I shared with him this morning. Compartía con ellos esta mañana. An ex Satanist said un, this. Un, un, alguien que fue un satánico antes dijo esto. He says, when dijo, demons come after the children of God. Dijo cuando demonios vienen detrás de los hijos de Dios. He uses their words. Él usa sus palabras. He goes into their minds first. Entra en su mente primeramente. And they speak against what God said. Pero en contra de lo que Dios dijo. He says we can keep them in bondage. Nos podemos mantener en ataduras. Because that believer Porque ese creyente don't realize no se da cuenta. the words they spoke over their children. Las palabras que están declarando sobre the words they spoke over their marriage. Las que hablaron sobre su matrimonio. The words they spoke over their ministries. Las palabras que hablaron sobre su ministerio. We have rights tenemos derechos to keep them caged in para mantenerlos enjaulados. And they never get to move nunca se pueden mover until the light comes to break it off of them hasta que viene la luz para quebrar eso de ellos and they have to renounce y tienen que renunciar this marriage is never going to work este matrimonio nunca funcionará she's never going to be ella nunca va a ser that child says I, I, I'll never be able to do that ese hijo dice nunca voy a poder hacer esto we'll never get to move forward nunca podremos continuar hacia adelante something algo It's come here ha venido aquí to cage you through your mouths. So as pastor began to speak, 
comenzó a hablar. Y all by your head and begin to renounce some things you have said. Y en el su rostro y comenzar a renunciar some things you've said about your family. Renounce some things you've said. Renouncing means sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Those words I spoke that day. Uh, young people, let me tell you how I put myself in the cage. I'll never be like my, my mom. I'll never be like her. Because I was so angry. The enemy was able to cage me into rebellion. So, Father, we renounce it. Words that has been spoken over ourselves and over marriages in the mighty name of Jesus. We break them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Chris, I need you to look up. No longer will you look down. I need you to see what God sees. You can't see what God sees when you're looking at your feet. Because by faith you're getting ready to walk a path. And you can't look at your feet if you're walking by faith. Because he's going to place your feet. He's called you to be with a group of people. And as you've been working with the audio team, God is saying, I put gifts and talents inside of you. But I want to see that I've called you to a place. A place in me that the enemy wants to take you out of. He wants to make you inoperative. Because things that you will do will put this body of believers in a place that they will hear great things from God. But he says you're going to have to trust him. You're going to have to trust him for everything, daughter. Your mind is getting ready to be cleared. Your heart is getting ready to be cleared. And as pastor was speaking, when you said those words that I cannot be like my mother, God said, I didn't design you to be like your mother. I designed you to be you because I called you to a place no one else can walk into. But you got to open your eyes to see. And I said before you this day, life and death. You choose. You choose, daughter, whether you want to live or whether you want to die. Because I am removing fear from you. And everything that you have feared will have no hold in your life again. Daughter, you are special. You've been called for such a time as this. You are a true Esther. You've been hidden for so long. But God is saying, daughter, now is the time to arise. And don't believe if you stay hidden in this time that I will not raise up a deliverer from another place. You've been called to be a deliverer. Sister Julie. You will break chains that have been on your family for years. As Pastor spoke before over Brother David, there's chains that are going to fall off for this family that will stop in this generation never to be heard from again. We curse it now at the roots that as you walk through this, God is getting ready to prepare you for your future. He's going to surround you. As you see these two, he said, I'm going to surround you. And that's the reason why he's put Sister Julie in your life. But it's greater than that. I want you to come right here. Put, bring, uh, bring her right here, Brother Stephen. You see, you need a man that's going to bring strength. I'm talking about in the spirit realm of authority. I want every child 12 and under to come behind Chrissy. 
de 12 años hacia I want you to line up. Chrissy, quiero que se ponga Chrissy, this is what he's doing. Chrissy, esto es lo que él está haciendo. He said he's preparing your steps. Chrissy, está preparando tus pasos. So that many will follow you. Para que muchos te puedan seguir. I want you to see that they're going to follow you. Quiero que mires que ellos te van a seguir. You said no. Tú dices no. Get behind her. Detrás de ella. Get behind her. Detrás de ella. Get behind her. Detrás de ella. All of the children. Todos los niños. Brother Steve, you stand on this side. You come on this side. You're not going to be alone. I got these great angelical hosts around you. This one got big wings. You're not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone. Just as I'm putting the two of them next to you, I have the angelical host. And you're going to have a generation begin to walk by faith. They're going to help you. Begin to walk by faith. This is for many of you. Begin to walk by faith. You can't look down. You said it's been hard. I need you to stop right there, Julie. Now turn around, Chrissy. Open your eyes. Generations are going to follow you. Generaciones te seguirán. For real, for real. Verdaderamente. He said, I'm not worthy. Dice, no soy digna. He said, You're worthy. Dice, Eres digna. You're worthy. Eres digna. And they're going to see me on you. Ellos me van a mirar a mí en ti. And so you lead them right to the children's department. Tú guías al departamento de los niños. All the children are released to and if you need to come back Julie you can all the children 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 can we bow our heads for a minute say generations need a leader generations need a leader to set them free to set them free they need leadership they need leadership And every one of us was in a place. Everyone had issues. But God was faithful. He was faithful. Every story. He showed you the weakness of that leader. You are those leaders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you're wondering why you're standing. Se pregunta por qué están aquí parados. Adriana, Adriana, I need you to come from behind, Henry, because you've hidden too long, daughter. Quiero que salgas de la puerta, Henry, porque te has escondido por mucho tiempo. You're getting ready to come out. I need you to come out. Quiero que salgas. No more hiding. Ya no te escondas. For some reason. Por alguna razón. It's you that hide that God has his eyes upon. He's been watching you, David. You know that, right? So just as it was with David, when he stood up here, God says, you can't hide from me anymore. See, he brought you from Utah for a purpose. And you cannot stop what he has planned for you. See, he's getting ready to take you places that you never knew that you could go. And you tried everything in your might to stop what he's doing. And you say, Lord, I'm not worthy. I, I, I don't deserve this, Jesus. You are too good to me. But as you stand here today, I want you to know that he has justified you. He has shed his blood over you. And that there is nothing you can do. Because your identity is made in him. Your identity is not in who you were. Not in what you've done. Not in what you own. It is in who you are in him. See, you've confused in your mind your God and your Father. See, he has brought you to this place. And as it was spoken this morning, 
It's the brokenness. It is the brokenness that he brings you to this place. It is the brokenness that he will use to lead others. And Henry, as you stand here today, I keep hearing this, Pastor Dolores. He says he's getting ready to shake you both. And, and, and I don't know what that means, but he says he's getting ready to shake you both. But the very shaking that's getting ready to happen will show and teach others that if they walk out on faith, God is real in your life. See, Henry, he said, I've called you to be disciples. For the father that you've always cried out for. He said, I've never left you, son. I've never forsaken you. I brought you here for this place that I can then send you out. Because as you are being developed now, I am getting ready to pour on you. See, it is no longer about your gifts and talents because you can hide behind your gifts and your talents. You can hide behind all of those things. But he says, I am after your heart, son. I am more concerned with your heart than what you can do because all the gifts and talents I gave to you. But this day, I am calling you to a place to walk with me. You're not a servant. You are a son. And I need you to understand that the Father sees you. He sees you walking way away. He recognizes you when no one else can. And he says, come home, son. Come home, son. Come home. And you no longer will walk like a pig. You will no longer smell like a pig. But you will be what I've called you to be. There's a sweet smelling aroma. And the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Because what he's getting ready to do in your lives. And I want you to look at one another now. Because you will not do this alone. You will not do this separately. You will walk in unity. Every lie that the enemy has spoken against your relationship and your marriage, we cast it down now. Renounce those thoughts that the enemy brought against you. Because now, you're going to walk in liberty. Here's the liberty that you're going to walk in that he ordained this before you were even born. This is the wife that God chose for you. This is the husband God chose for you. There is not another for either of you. And as you walk in unity, you will see as you walk in your position what God's called you to be. In Jesus' name. The Lord said... Uh, um, get John, uh, David, I can't call you Jonathan anymore. Get David and Alejandra to come around them. And, uh, and, and David would let you know, he, he, he shares this before, I, I think. He said, you know, when I came to church of prayer, he said, my marriage was a mess. I, I don't know if it would have worked if, if we didn't come and encounter the Lord. You remember saying that, huh? But you're going to preach it probably next Sunday. But anyway, he said, my marriage was a mess. And I, I mean, for real, coming to the church changed my marriage. He said, da David, David, Henry needs you. Henry te necesita. Alejandra, Adrian needs you. Adriana te necesita. Y'all in the house. Están en la casa. They just need someone to support them. Solo necesitan que alguien los apoye. And you understand. 
que tú entiendes. I'm going to ask every married couple to stand up right now. If your husband's not here, stand up right now. We're going to pray for the strength of a marriage in the house of God. Vamos a orar por la fortaleza de de Dios. We're going to pray for strength of marriages. See, what blows me away is not the ones that have it together. God used the ones that don't have it together. He said, my God, that's the truth. So can we begin to pray for marriages right now? Yeah. Come on, yes. you, might, you might have fought with yes. your wife this morning, but just grab a hand Come on, right now. begin to pray. Come Let's on, begin, begin to, to pray. pray for marriages in this house. Father, we pray today for every marriage, for every son and daughter that has called you as their God. We pray over their relationship. We pray over their marriage. We pay healing rain to fall on their marriage, oh God. That they will not fall to the, the devices of the enemy. But your hands are upon them. So you strengthen them, Lord. Bringing them to the place. In you. Amen. Father, I pray for the ministry of marriages being discipled. Father, I pray that this house many will come broken with the testimony of your son. They will see, God, that they need you in their marriage. But I pray for a ministry in this house that would develop a, um, a, a discipleship that would disciple marriages, strengthen them in the house, and send them to strengthen other marriages. I pray that. I pray that, Tony. You got a testimony. You're supposed to strengthen. God wants to use you. Amen. I pray that. Amen. I pray that. I pray that God would use you mightily to bring in other married couples. And y'all have nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. It's a testimony. I pray that, son. You got a testimony. I pray that. Let's believe for it. I believe for the women that are standing and the men that are standing and their spouse is not here. We pray and stand in the gap for those spouses right now that their relationships will be strengthened and that God, you will move by your spirit and Father, you will move mightily. I, I thank you, Kaima. I know you're standing for your brother's marriage. See, that's what we got to have a heart. And say, I'm going to stand for some marriages. I'm going to believe God for these marriages. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because today our children are confused. And they need to see a, see a marriage in covenant. So let's pray for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. See, I've been struggling for the last 10 or 15 minutes. Sammy and Connie, I need you here. I, I, I have been struggling with this. I, I, I just need you here. Gabriel, if y'all, if I, uh, uh, Melody, if you can come get your brother real quickly. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, Mama. Okay, we'll get you back with Mama in just one moment. Here's where I struggled. I know where you guys stand. 
And I know you're in that window that you are trusting God for everything in your lives. But in the struggle, I need you to turn around and look out at those who are looking at you. See, I need you to look out at the audience. I don't need you looking at me because you put your eyes on me for too long. I need you to look out there. And I need you to see those who have been walking behind you, waiting on you. I need you to see those who have been desperately praying for you. See, you have a position and a place, son. In the midst of your struggle. See, you are the prodigal. You are the man that you spoke about yesterday. And Sammy, see, they didn't get to hear. See, God had a place for you that no one else knew. See, Kami, I know that you struggled in your heart and your mind. But now is the time, daughter. Now is the time, son. I've waited too long. People have been waiting for us. And we can't wait any longer. We've got to move. We've got to do what God called us to do. Whatever that is in our hearts, there is things to be done in the kingdom of God. And we can't wait any longer. We can't stand by and let people die. See, I've seen this image of people just dying. And it's because we weren't in position. Church, hear me as we close out today. This is this is the service today. And, and, and I need you to pray. Because every one of you are just like this couple. God's called you to greatness. I need you to understand he's called you to greatness. You have not been called to sit back. You have been called to greatness. And you're going to impact the life of others. See, it's not only the people in this room that you're going to touch. Santiago, I'm talking to you. I need you to hear me, son. See, you've waited too long. And see, those drums sit there for a while. See, I know what's inside of you. And you haven't walked in the gift that God's called you. And I would hate for you to hear the words, my wicked servant. See, you got a call on your life. And you know what, son? You are a great man of God. You are a great man of God. No matter what else is happening around you, you are a great man of God. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you. Quit believing the lie of the enemy and know that you are great. Jesus, you know, if this couple in any way have influenced your life, I need you to stand up. I need you to stand and come behind. Come on, somehow they affected you. Somehow they have influenced you in some way. This, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, they have touched your marriage. They have ministered to your children. If, if somehow this couple has had the church, they should be the pastors of the church. What in the world? What in the world? And I stand with them because I too was touched. Many preachers. I have been moved by the ministry God has put in you. And there are others that are standing there, even Israel standing in the in the area in the top. I see so many lives. So many lives that are affected by the ministry God has given to you. And as Pastor Dolores would normally say, arise. And I want y'all to see, I want y'all to open your eyes. Miss Connie, I know you got tears, but see all your babies. Yeah. You're not crippled. Come on. This is all your babies. You 
You don't know who lies behind that. No sabemos cuántas veces se pactamos. And he can't allow to sit down. No podemos sentarlo. They've been down for a while. Han estado abajo por un tiempo. You probably don't wish my wrist. There's a season we go through. Hay una temporada que pasamos. There's a season we have to go through. Hay una temporada que tenemos que pasar. To know it's Jesus is not a man, it's not a church. He had to know it was Jesus. So would you stretch your hands toward them and let's begin to pray for them that he would be strengthened and they would get clear answers like never before. That their family would be strengthened. That their family would be impacted. They girls will uh, be a part of this ministry. Oh my God. Begin to speak life into their children. Because whatever they do, they can't do it without their children. We call out Stephanie. We call out Melody. We call out the prophet Gabriel. We call them out now. Because they will not move without these babies. Because they are family of reconciliation. So, Father, I pray a breakthrough today will release them in whatever you say. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. All over this place, can you stand up? for today there's a victory oh God there's a victory something has broken and so father no longer we will be muffled we're gonna stand in that victory not today God has blessed us 